a question I often get asked is, uh, Andy, how old are you? And I say, well, I'm 21 going on 22. I'm not really, I'm 38. But that's not one of the questions I just sort of like went off on a tangent there, didn't I? No, one of the questions I get asked quite a bit is, how do you prepare expanders? There's quite a few different ways of preparing them. You know, some people like to put them in a little bit of water in a plastic bag, stick them in the fridge so they'll all expand out. But I prefer to use them the old, the old traditional way through a pump. So basically, all I do, just get a few expanders out, enough for a session, put them in the pump. Now, at this stage, this is where you can, you know, experiment with liquids. Now, what's been working really well in testing is our new F1 pellet soak. All I do, and with the lake water, I'm just going to get some of this and pour it in. Just gives it, ooh, a little bit of attraction. Look at that. It's like Hulk water, isn't it? Look at it. All green. It's Hulk water. So I'm going to do, mix that around a bit, and then just pour about half of that. Make sure the container's sort of like half full, half to three quarters. Put the plunger on top, cheeky, and then just give it a few, a few pumps. And what you'll find is all them expanders will sink to the bottom, and then you can just forget about them for sort of 15 to 20 minutes, something like that. And then all I do, I tend to leave them in the water all day. What some anglers do is drain the water off, but... I want all that goodness to stay on my pellets all day. I don't want to get rid of it. So if you follow them easy steps, you know, you'll have perfect expanders every time and it'll enable you to catch lots of fishes. Oh, yes.